Season 5 of the National Ninja League was our best yet, with over 100 competitions, 15,000 course runs, and nearly 2,000 athletes from around the world competing at the World Championship, the first one run entirely by the league. With a successful World Championship in the books, Season 6 was shaping up to be even bigger. However, the COVID-19 pandemic around the world has caused many sports organizations, including ours, to come to a screeching halt. Things will be a little different for this season, but rest assured we're still full steam ahead to legitimizing the sport of ninja. Hi, I'm Alex Cunningham, the data manager here at the National Ninja League. You may also recognize me from being the commentator at the World Championships. Chris Wolcheski would normally be giving these announcements, but he's a little busy for this reason. He just became a dad. On behalf of the National Ninja League, we want to congratulate Rachel and Chris on the birth of their healthy baby girl, Madeline Page Wolcheski. Now let's get down to brass tacks. As you know, the COVID-19 pandemic has caused us to put ninja events on the back burner for the last couple of months, including the loss of our regularly scheduled RNL season. In addition, the uncertain months ahead have caused us to make some format changes for this season only. Assuming all goes to plan, NL events will start back up this September. For this season, we will be running the RNL and NNL simultaneously, with the RNL running from September to November, and the NNL running from September to February. We previously announced that the RNL would have regional championships, which are still on the books. Those will be taking place in early December at locations to be announced soon. As for the NNL, we'll have to make some changes for the World Championship. While we're pleased to report that there were no known cases of COVID-19 at our 2020 World Championship, the uncertain landscape ahead makes it impossible to guarantee that will be the case in 2021. While we very well could have a vaccine and be back to large gatherings by next spring, it would be impossible to know far enough in advance to feel confident making the large financial commitments needed for a full-scale world championship. For that reason, we've decided to focus on regional championships for the NNL, which will take place in early February 2021. Assuming that it is safe to do so, the top three athletes in each division at each regional championship will advance to a scaled-back world championship at a ninja facility to be announced later. To be clear, we will be returning to a convention center type setting as soon as this pandemic is resolved. While this may seem disappointing to some, this does provide us with a unique opportunity to really highlight the elite athletes who are able to qualify. We plan to do something very special in terms of media coverage for the select few who are able to qualify for the 2021 World Championship. We see this as a potentially large step forward for the organization, and we're very excited for our athletes and the future. With that cleared up, let's talk about some of the exciting things we're planning for this season, most of which is related directly to your feedback. As a result of your overwhelming feedback, competitors in the adults and masters divisions will now be able to complete the course after they fail. Just like in the youth divisions, competitors will still be scored based on their progress up until their first failed obstacle, but we hope that allowing athletes to continue the course will provide more value for signing up for competitions. There is an exception, though, so stay tuned until the end of the presentation. Making its way to the regular season after an incredibly popular debut at the World Championship, facilities will now have the option to host skills qualifiers for both the RNL and NNL. Competitors will participate in 5-15 to 15 skills, testing fastest completion, longest time, most obstacle repetitions, and most movement repetitions. This gives athletes more chances to get on obstacles and show their skills, as well as allowing course designers to flex their creativity muscles. Just like the traditional course qualifiers, the top overall athletes at each skills qualifier will advance to the regional championship, or to the world championship for season 7 and beyond. We at the NNL have been working hard for over a year to create our new coaching certification. Designed with input from some of the top ninja coaches in the country, this entry-level certification will primarily focus on background checking and training our athletes to help prevent abuse before it happens. As an added benefit, coaches will be provided extensive video material about the league structure and some basic tips for bringing athletes to their full potential. Coaches will need to complete an exam, a background screening, 
and an abuse prevention training course in order to pass the certification. The certification program costs about $50, can be completed online in one sitting, and is available now at nationalninja.com. Anyone 18 and over can complete the coaching certification, even if you're not an employee of an NNL facility. This includes parents of athletes, so parents can be the certified coach for their own child. We do have some exciting things we're working on for our NNL facilities, so stay tuned for future announcements. There are some important changes to in-person events regarding this certification. First, only a certified coach representing the athlete may be allowed on the competition floor during a youth athlete's run. No other athletes, coaches, or spectators may be on the floor. Additionally, in the youth divisions, only certified coaches will be able to request a video review. Similar to the World Championship the past few seasons, we are instituting a video review form at all NNL events that must be completed in order for the review to take place. We hope that this simplifies and eases the video review process, which we received a lot of feedback about last season. As in past seasons, the course referee can also request a video review, and adult competitors will be able to request a video review in their own division. We had planned on launching the long-awaited Pro Series this summer, but the COVID-19 pandemic and ensuing economic difficulties that many of our facilities have been facing have caused us to alter our plans. We're still going to launch Pro Series on a future date, but we hope that this whets your appetite for now. Starting this August, eight male and eight female ninjas representing the best of the best from Season 5 will participate in a knockout tournament for cash prizes as they compete in various challenges from their home facilities. Join Ninja Lab host William Marchese and I, as well as our expert debaters Henry Ferrarn and Lucio Batista, as we watch the ninjas go head-to-head -head each Friday night in a virtual environment. These competitions will be live-streamed for free on our YouTube page, so be sure to subscribe to be alerted when these competitions will take place. It's that time, isn't it? All right. Will the young adults be able to compete in the adult division in season six? No. But. You've asked for years and this season we're delivering. In this all new division for the NNL only, the top athletes 15 and over can opt to compete at the highest level with our biggest cash rewards. Any athlete born on or before February 21st, 2006, regardless of how they finished in previous seasons or the World Championship, can choose to compete in either their age division or in the elite division. This will be the only division in which athletes will leave the course after they fall, just as the adult division has done in the past. But there's a catch. Since this division is only meant for the best of the best, only the top two elite male and top two elite female athletes will advance to the regional championship or to the world championship in season seven and beyond. Similarly, only the top two at the regional championship will advance to the world championship. Lastly, once you choose your division, you will remain in that division for the entire season, so choose wisely. Here at the NNL, we're working tirelessly to not only bring Ninja to legitimacy, but to provide athletes of all skill levels world-class experiences. We read every piece of feedback we receive and take it incredibly seriously, and we want to thank all of you that provided feedback that led to some of the changes for this season. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment on this video, or email us at info at nationalninja.com. This season will look a little different, but we're excited to get back to competition in September. Until then, stay safe and keep training.